Hi, I'm Earth Ranger Ashna, and I'm here at one of my favorite places on the planet, the Toronto Zoo. I want to talk to you about some amazing reptiles that need our help. They're called Blanding's Turtles. You can spot a Blanding's Turtle by the yellow throat and chin. They have a dome-shaped shell, but unlike many other turtles, they can close it completely, which is great for protecting themselves from hungry predators. Unfortunately, their shell can't protect them from the things that are causing them the most harm. People are building houses in wild spaces Blanding's turtles use to make their homes. With more houses being built, comes more cars and roads. When a turtle tries to cross a road looking for food or a new nesting site, let's just say turtles, cars, and roads don't mix. Now, here's the good news. Earth Rangers from across Canada are joining forces with an awesome group of turtle saving heroes working right here at the Toronto Zoo. Now, as an Earth Ranger, I've been granted VIP access to the turtle nursery. Check this out. I'm here with Julia, who's going to tell me more about what happens right here in the nursery. Hi Julia, can you tell me how you are helping Blanding's turtles? Sure, I'd love to. A team of us here at the nursery are working to collect Blanding's turtle eggs from at-risk nesting sites out in the wild. We then bring them here to raise them into strong, healthy turtles and release them back into the wild again. Wow, very cool. What do you do with the eggs once you bring them here? We put them in the incubators that you see over here and the eggs are incubated for anywhere between 54 to 90 days. What do you do with the turtles once they hatch? Would you like me to show you? Yeah. We keep the turtles here at the nursery for two years, the tiny baby turtles. We weigh and measure them every month in order to make sure that they're growing and that they're healthy. And then a couple months before we release them into the wild, we take them into an outdoor holding area so they can get used to being outside. We feed them live food like earthworms so they can get used to catching moving prey. And then after we release them into a safe place in the wild, we monitor them to determine their survival rates. Thanks Julia, sounds like you're doing some really important work here. Remember, Blanding's turtles need our help. And if we all work together, we will bring back the wild.